Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is an intro after the intro I've just filmed because the intro was four minutes long. Sorry about that, but it's just a chatty, like, chat, 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 chat video. So grab a cuppa and I will do the proper intro now. But if you don't want to see this, then skip forward to four minutes and then you'll get the good, the spring, the new wardrobe vibes. <laughs> Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to the very first wardrobe video of the year and I'm gonna start getting back into doing these videos. I used to do them all the time and I haven't done them for ages. So today we're gonna do like a spring wardrobe refresh. Let's just get this out of the way first. I, whoops, <laughs> cannot believe these are my wardrobes guys. I know I always go on about it, but I just cannot believe that we live here. I just feel enormous gratitude and amazement and just pride really that we've done this anyway won't go on about that especially if you're new to this channel if you are do subscribe to the channel I upload three times a week all about budget ways to live your best life on a budget <laughs> and today I'm gonna be doing a wardrobe refresh so it's literally if you're living in the south of England especially or in England or the UK it is boiling this week it has been beautiful it's about 18 19 degrees today it's march it's crazy but we do often get like this really weird freak weather in march and i'm here for it so i suddenly have nothing to wear so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look through my wardrobe i'm going to pick out the bits that are more springy i'm going to get my stuff from the loft which has come over from the old loft to this new house and i'm going to get that out and i'm going to just go through it all and find some nice affordable outfits maybe think about what i might want to buy to update my wardrobe but basically just try and use what i've got and just to kind of uplay update my style for spring and summer so i've got on this top which i is quite old i don't know where it's from i think it might be new look actually yep new look so I've got this on. I've actually got these jeans which I got from Vinted and since I've kind of done a bit of work on my gut and getting, trying to get fit and healthy and lose a little bit of weight uh, after lockdown and all that sort of stuff, um, I find like they are a little bit big for me. A little bit roomy. So I might buy a couple of pieces of jeans, pieces of jeans? A couple of jeans because I have bought them from Vinted before. These are actually from Vinted you can't try them on you can't send them back and i think jeans are just one of those things that you just want to get right so i am gonna order some online and i'll let you know how i get on with that if you'd like to see uh but yeah for now let's get into the wardrobe so i haven't quite filled this one yet because this is i've just if you saw my wardrobe um my bedroom sort out i think it was perhaps um I'm, in fact i'm gonna have a few videos coming up so if you want to see things like organizing my pax wardrobe or anything like that then let me know uh but yeah so this is like my second wardrobe <laughs> I have two bedroom. anyway um and it's got some bits and bobs in here but as you can see it's not like living its best life right now so what the idea is is to fill this now this is going to be like the spring summer um and like the daily what i'm reaching for because do you know what this one is such a better height so i can reach things the other one is the rails up here and it's really hard to like reach things down. I need to sort this out. This is still moving stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's get the old bag of things through and then we can look at stuff like this, guys. Let's go through that, I think. It needs a bit of a sort out. The winter jumpers, goodbye. This is a nice thing about living in England, by the way, because if you don't live in England, you may well live somewhere like um, America or Australia and the seasons are quite like I remember being in Chicago and it was freezing cold and um, within a day it was like summer it was like suddenly like that and I know the same for like Australia obviously it's you do get winter and everything but it's quite hot a lot of the time so for us like Brits it's so nice to have like the four seasons and that's something I always am grateful for for living in this country as much as I'd love to live abroad I think it's amazing to have like oh, spring like the blossom is everywhere it's beautiful and then you get like the summer really hot and then by the end of the summer you're like oh, I'm actually just ready for autumn now and then come the crisp autumn days and those gorgeous colours and then anyway so enough weather report for the day longest intro ever but just hopefully you enjoy hanging out with me grab yourself a cuppa subscribe if you are new to the channel and like the video if you want more fashion videos on a budget let's get first of all the old things out of the wardrobe um in fact what i might do this might become a really long video 
So let's maybe do a spring, let's look through the old bag of clothes. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna look through that and then I can leave my wardrobe declutter for another video if you'd like to see it or wardrobe organization. Otherwise this one's gonna be way too long. Uh, but yeah, grab a cuppa, settle in, let's go. Okay, so this is what I've bought fourth from, can you even see me? It's probably really dark. From the old house. So, I'm gonna go through and talk through some of the lovely things that are in my, by the way, let's just talk about this. So we're gonna have these wind mirrors here. So two of these, this came from my old um, office and Stu thought, as there were some hangers there, some nails, that he would put his little cycling pictures there as a joke. Uh, so they'll be gone soon, but for the, for the purpose of just covering up the massive holes in the wall, then we'll just keep them there for now. So there's like, I feel like when you have your stuff, when you can store your stuff in a loft or in storage bags or something like that, it's like a new wardrobe. It's like you've been shopping. It's amazing. So this one we bought, we, I bought, um, so long ago. Next it is. Um, I thought that was H&M. So what I might do is pull out everything from here. This is actually quite a cute dress. Oh, I like it. Oh, where's that going? Oh, there's one in there. It's probably through there, is it? So what I might do is pull out some things, some clothing, and then see how it looks now, if it still fits. Like I said, I have lost a little bit of weight, but most of that is just my bloating going down because I've done, let me know, shall I, have I done a video? I've done a U Instagram campaign with Simprove who I've absolutely loved and they've definitely helped. But yeah, I might do a full video on like how I've helped my stomach. But I think that's half the reason why things are too big now because it's not as bloated, which is amazing. Uh, obviously you're not getting the full vibe of this having a top underneath it. But I think this is just a really nice dress and it's actually not too low here because often I hate that it kind of flaps open. So that's definitely a keeper. Uh, so what I might do is just take the bits out of the bag and then we can kind of like line it up and see what's good, what we're gonna keep, what we'll give away, maybe put some things on vintage. But yeah, let me do that. Part of the reason that I want to do this now is because I'm actually going to Cornwall next week. I can't wait to take you. It's a press trip and it's my first press trip back since you know what. And I am so pleased to be going because I, so I'll share more when I go but I'd love you guys to come along with me and watch the video and over on Instagram, Lara Joanna Jarvis, I'll be sharing stories every day and posts and everything because I think the UK has got so many beautiful places. We've been going to Cornwall since I was like tiny, like really little every year and latterly with my own family and it really holds a special place in my heart. So for me, I think what, I haven't, I don't wanna like go and spend loads of money on a new wardrobe, so I'm gonna be doing this and then finding some spring outfits to wear to take with me. I don't know if it's gonna be this hot when we're there, which is a shame because it's stunning. So it's a bit of a hard one to kind of dress for or plan for because if it's not hot, then you can't wear hot summer clothes. So let me know in the comments if you see any outfits that you think would work really well for Cornwall. I did actually do a thrift with me video recently and I bought a really nice kind of striped white shirt, like a relaxed fit, which I think is just like the Cornwall vibes, like the kind of, oh, what's the name of it? You know what I mean? Just kind of like stripy shirt, white jeans, that sort of thing. But anyway, help me pack for Cornwall, help me choose outfits for Cornwall as well as the spring wardrobe refresh. Okay, this is a vintage purchase and I loved it last year. It's from Free People, I think. Yeah, from Free People, which is a really nice brand. Um, and it's just a simple white dress, but it's like lined as well, which I really loved. So that is definitely keeping. And I'll, I'll do a try on as well. Oh, so this dress here, I've never worn it. Uh, 24.99, I don't think it fit me. So I'm gonna try that on now, see if it does fit. Cause this is just like with a straw bag, a like straw hat and sandals is just the perfect effortless outfit. White I love for spring summer and you can wear it all year round, but I just love it for spring summer. And it's just like a really good length as well. So it's a nice kind of, if you've got the children like scrabbling around on the floor with them, as you can see, it needs a good iron. Um, now, shorts like this, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be getting my legs out that, and they're quite short. Actually, these are actually not as short, but I bought these years ago. These are, that's Primark. That's Primark. Um, 
So they're kind of a good in the drawer situation, maybe not hanging up, taking up vital space. Oh, this one. This is like 10 years old, maybe even more, maybe like 15 years old. I've all this traveling. Yeah, we got married. Yeah, it must be about 15 years old from H&M. It's just a beach dress, a really easy. In fact, I wore this in Disney World to Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, look at my jeans, the cane jeans. What size are these? I don't know, miniature is what they are. Miniature. Um, I just wouldn't fit into them now. I'll try it. I'll try it guys, but don't hold out much hope. These I love, I used to wear these all the time. I'll try those back on actually. And then just like some basics really, like H&M are really good for basics. They do a conscious range as well, which is nice. Let me know in the comments your favorite brands as well. I'd love to know of like some nice, either sustainable brands, oh, like things like this. I just forgot an hat I've got. And I'd go and buy that. So this is why when you have like store your clothes in the loft, um, it's like you've gone shopping, which I love without paying any money. This one is a few years old. Primark, kind of like boiler suit situation. From what I remember, it wasn't very comfortable on the gooch. So, is it called a gooch? On that area, the, this area. It's quite tight. So, not for like wearing, I think I wore it to, uh, to Disney World and it was 100 degrees and you're on rides and tight, like strapped in. It wasn't really a very comfortable time. So I'll try that. I'm gonna try these and see how I get on. H&M, a size four, oh no, American four. <laughs> is that a 10, I think? <sighs> Guys, it's like I'm shopping. How many times can I say that? Shop your wardrobe. Shop the things you already own. Oh, these are cool. These are really perfect for just hanging around the house and like a nice, comfy, cozy, not having to kind of put too much effort into them. I used to love these. I found a load of these trousers actually, and they fit me again. So these well, may well fit their new look. Um, I don't know if they're in fashion, but I don't really care. Um, all right, size eight, never wore that one. So well done, Lara, that was a bit of a waste. This is a play suit and I loved the print. It's a H&M one. I will try it on, but I think for me, this sort of outfit is for the garden. I wouldn't wear it out because it's too short. For the garden when it's a really hot day and you're just like in and out of the house, sitting in the garden, maybe having a barbecue, which we don't own, we need to buy. I'm gonna try that on. So gosh, can you see how many things I've got here without even going shopping? And also, because I wouldn't have worn them the last couple of years, it doesn't feel like my wardrobe is such, oh, this is my favorite dress. Oh my gosh, I don't think this will fit me, but I love it so much. It's Topshop, when Topshop was around. Size eight, tiny. If that, oh, it's a play suit, it's a play suit, my favorite thing. Play suit and um, jumpsuits are just my favorite. If that still fits me, I'm gonna be so excited. I hope you can see me all right, can you see me? Okay, so this was just a like beach cover up, really nice for a holiday around the pool or something. Not something I'd like wear. Maybe I would. We'll see. Um, okay, I feel like this is probably, let's speed all this up. A size two? That must be a size six. How did I fit into those? Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's speed this up and um, get to the try on stage, shall we? Otherwise you'll be here all day, guys. Top shop. We haven't had a top shop for years. These must be so old. I think they do have it on hey, on that like, ASOS. Anyway, let's go. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I think the 
ship has sailed on this one. Still not quite over the stomach. And it's very tight compared to what it used to be, which is a real shame. Let me show you in the mirror, actually. Oh, excuse all the mess on the floor. Uh, it's a real shame because I do really love this. But, and let's keep the comments kind. You, like, everyone is entitled to feel about their their body, how they want to feel, and I am like the least confident person with my body ever. So that's okay, and if you're body posy, yay, good for you, I wish I was as well. Um, but this is definitely not something that I feel comfortable in, which is a shame, it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, on to the next, plenty more to look at. So this is the next dress. I actually think it's um, a beach cover up, but I like it as a dress with some like wedges maybe. <laughs> That's what I've got to get through. And um, a summer hat. What do you think? Cornwall kind of outfit or is it a bit like more broad outfit? Okay, this one, no. Unfortunately, this is still not taut enough <laughs> uh, for me to feel confident wearing it. Um, I always had a problem with like my stomach anyway. And, and like the way I shop's changed so much, like I would never choose anything like this anymore. I go for like the floaty sort of things and I know like people will be like there's nothing there um but when it's your own body I feel like you can feel like that, those things if you're not confident um but yeah no I'd be constantly like breathing in and trying to hide my stomach uh, but it's cute though I might list this this is definitely much more comfortable because it's like roof rouged roofed r roof what is that word I don't know what that word is, I know I sound really strange saying it. Uh, and yeah, it's actually quite a good length. Not too short, guys, it's still such a mess. Uh, so yeah, um, I think I might keep this. What do you think, is this a Cornwall sort of outfit though? It's quite good for like an activity day, isn't it? Like if we're doing something a bit um, active. Do some squats and stuff in this. <laughs> I lived in this when uh, I first got it, I love it. I have to say it's like shrunk on the legs. I feel like it has actually shrunk, shrunk, not that I've grown. Uh, but it's still got quite a bit of room there. Whether I feel confident, I'm not sure yet. I remember wearing this to, um, actually it's quite a big there still anyway. Obviously I've not got the right brow on. What do you think? With a hat? Maybe a denim jacket? Would that look all right? I just don't know if I feel quite there yet here with this bit. This is the free people dress. I just love the quality of it, it's so good, such good quality. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. I feel like with a nice hat and some sandals. That'd look good. You can't really see with the white background, but it is a bit tight here. Not tight, but like I don't want those buttons to open, do I? But yeah, I really like that one. So I think I might bring this because it's quite warm because it's so thick the material. So I might bring that with me. Um, but yeah, if you see any faves, then let me know in the comments which ones I should take to Cornwall. So I'm doing this in the mirror, I hope it's not too annoying that I'm not like on the camera but I'm actually using my tripod to make a reel over my Instagram so but that might be helpful. Now this one, this is not what we need but I have got a bra on, I'm thinking maybe if I go braless, I'm not sure if I, oh man, it's a dog. Uh, but also what I didn't like about this was it, it like shoots out of the hip. I feel like it could do with pockets, like it's got enough material here to have a pocket and yet they have not given us a pocket. Everything's better with pockets. Um, but yeah, this is brand new, so I'll pop it onto Vinted if I choose not to. Let me know. It's a nice summer dress, and again, it's thick. It's really lined, so you're not going to like have your pants on show, which is an important factor. Discovery of the day is that this has pockets. Oh my gosh. So this would actually be quite nice when we go out for dinner because it's kind of like an evening thing. It's a bit booby for my liking, but I can wear, maybe wear like a leather jacket over it or something like that. What do you think? Is it a bit booby? And it's also like ruched. Is that the word ruched? Is it ruched? I think it is. But it's got like this bit here, that's a weird flap, uh, that kind of like hides the stomach a bit. So yeah, that's a maybe for an evening. I love this t-shirt so much. The detail, it's all like applique, what do you call it, Gl uh, sequins, beaded. It's gorgeous, I love it. And these trousers are a little bit tight on the crotch. Um, by the way, I think I said the word gooch earlier. I don't think that's crotch, is it? I think that's something else. So let's just skip past that. Um, 
get a little bit tight here because this bit's not long enough almost. Maybe they're a petite. <laughs> can tell myself that uh, but I really like it it's a really cool like casual outfit like beach maybe or exploring um, one of the museums or something I'm happy about this outfit this makes me happy okay so these aren't too short they're not too bad but I definitely was not fitting into them or, like confident to fit into them last year or the year before but I feel like I could they're not like really short but they're not long uh, but I feel like I could maybe feel confident in them they are Topshop so I really rate Topshop jeans I think they're a really good fit um, I mean this is all based on the fact that it's summer this week it's probably going to be raining next week so I might have to rethink everything but even if like I just wore this with jeans this is quite a nice like just relaxed everyday outfit um, they're not they're not tight or anything but I don't know if this is a good fit here I'm not sure Okay, these are old school. They're so old. And I think I might have even worn them when I worked in an office. I'm not sure. They've definitely shrunk in the leg as well. So that's probably me tumble drying them. Um, but I do like this cute little t-shirt. It needs an iron. Love. Just a nice everyday t-shirt. Maybe with a blazer that would be good. But yeah, I don't know if this is <laughs> wishful thinking a little bit. Uh, as much as I'm really proud that I fit into these clothes that are from 20, like... God, early 2010s, probably. <laughs> um, I don't feel like very comfortable in it. I think that's the key. But that's fine. There's other things. They're more like leggings. They're so tight. But yeah, let's move on. I don't know what's happening here. Like my entire bra is out. Maybe it needs like a pin there. It's got a little pin there. Maybe it needs another one there or something. But yeah, safe to say this is not making it through with uh, the Cornwall or the spring wardrobe summer wardrobe not really working very well is it I don't know what's going on there maybe it should just be like way back like that that might be why oh this reminds me of our trip to Normandy we stayed at a Euro camp and it was honestly one of the best holidays ever it was so simple but we had so much fun and we had a baguette on the beach and I wore this top and probably some jean shorts I'm not sure no a jean skirt I think but yeah I thought this goes kind of like a nice casual outfit here i am feeling these outfits i don't know if i just feel like confident suddenly like just a little bit back to my old self my health issues were really getting me down and my stomach and everything just was stopping me from wearing so many things and not to say like i'm back where i want to be but i've definitely worked really hard well i've not worked really hard um i've done some workouts <laughs> in the mornings but i'm just getting back into it really but i'm it's taken a long time of not knowing what's going on and yeah maybe it was the stress guys maybe it was just the stress of moving and the last few years but she's back but anyway yeah what do you think to this one <sighs> i've officially destroyed my room my clothes are all over the place um but i feel happy that i've managed to find some really nice outfits for free just by shopping my wardrobe and decluttering things from the loft so hopefully this has inspired you as well let me know in the comments if you liked any of the outfits or if this inspires you to go and shop your own wardrobe for spring summer and uh yeah let me know if you want more videos like this i really enjoyed making it and finding a whole new wardrobe anyway i'll do another few wardrobe videos i think if you're interested um i did loads of fashion on here previously and i just stopped doing it just because didn't really feel like i had the space to film but yeah here we are <laughs> so thanks for watching guys don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stick around and i'll see you really soon and don't forget to watch the cornwall vlog when it comes out too see you soon bye